But here it is. Best motion picture drama. Here we go. A lot of people. Um, here are the nominees for the best motion picture drama. Oh, this is it. <laughs> Twelve years a slave. Ooh. Captain Phillips. This could be anyone's game at this point. Gravity. Gravity. Oh, I don't know. Rush. Oh man. And the winner is. And ah! the Golden Globe Award goes to Twelve Years a Slave. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, not gravity, but mm, good enough. And 12 Years a Slave takes it. Well, I don't know. <laughs> That's the only award it won, I think. Oh, look at that beard. Like I said, it'll be the big Oscar winner, I'm sure. A little bit in shock. Um, Roll Jordan Roll. Um, what can I say? Um, firstly, I'd like to thank the whole foreign press. Um, I'd like to thank my wife, Bianca, for finding the book, 12 Years a Slave. Thank you, darling. Um, so many people to thank um, Michael Fassbender for an amazing performance. Genius. Found a few. Only a few. Tutor Edge of Four. Repeated Nyongo. And the Billy Davis of America, Sarah Paulson. Um, I'd like to thank Fox Searchlight. Um, I'd like to thank New Regency. Plan B, thank you guys for taking the chance on this movie. And there's someone who always, I'm, I'm forget someone, I'm so sorry, I, was, I, I wasn't expecting this. Um, please hit me, go on, hit me, hit me with something other than <laughs> Okay, Hans Zimmer for a wonderful score. Sean Bobby. Sean Bobby, the cameraman. John Ridley, um, et cetera, et cetera. Thank you so much. I'm, 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 TD Gardner. TD Gardner. <laughs> Jeremy Kleiner, and of course, Brad Pitt, without you, this movie would have never got made. Thank you, sir, wherever you are. You. Awesome. And that's it. Golden Globes are over. Well, that's the Golden Globes for you. I guess until we get to the Oscars, the BAFTAs, or SAGs, or whatever, I'll be talking about it. Um, yeah, that was quite a unexpected group of winners. Um, didn't expect Jennifer Lawrence to win. Didn't expect uh, Jared Leto to win. Did not expect Matthew McConaughey to win. Um, Amy Adams, kind of. Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, maybe. I thought Christian Bale, but oh well. Uh, who else was there? Actress Oh, Kate Blanchett. Uh, uh, it was either going to be her or Sandra Bullock. I guess I wanted Sandra Bullock. I don't know. I didn't really like her dress. It didn't really look very... I don't know. Like, Kate Blanchett looked a bit better. Um, uh, I expected 12 Years of Slave. I'm surprised I didn't win anything else, like Best Actor or anything else. Um, just surprising, I thought. Uh... American Hustle won a bunch of stuff. Uh, I'm glad Spike Jones won an award for her. His writing in that is great. Um, apart from that, I have nothing else to say, really. It was a good <laughs> Tina Fey and Amy Poehler were hilarious. Uh, Amy Poehler's win was, I thought, unex un unexpected. Um, Brian Cranston won Heisenberg. That was just great. Like That was his first win, so... Come on, he was going to win, whether we like it or not. So, yeah. Uh, Alfonso Caron won for Gravity. That's a much-deserved win. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens next. Uh, 
I guess that only makes it 12 years later, only won one Golden Globe, which I think that's probably happened in the past, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, the Oscars are actually a fair amount, fair about a month, and over a month and a half away, actually. They're in March 2nd, which seems like an odd date, but oh well, I guess. Uh... Frozen one animated film. I I I didn't expect um, the best song and best mu original music were a bit out there. I think it was that one song from Mandela, "Long Walk to Freedom." I think it was called "Ordinary Love." And best music came from uh, I'm the book thief now. Um, oh, all is lost. That was it. I don't know, I expected Gravity or 12 Years a Slave. Um, maybe 12 Years a Slave music on that's really good. I don't know, just an odd group of winners, I guess. I mean, I was expecting more, maybe expecting more from what I wanted to win, but I don't know. But, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, it doesn't really, you know, make a film better or worse. I mean, it's just kind of like, I don't know, whatever. I like Woody Allen's segment. He won the Cecil B. DeMille Award. Uh... But that's all I have to say for now, so if you liked it, comment below. I liked it, it was funny. Um, kind of wanted some different awards to be won by different people. But the ones I did want to see did win. Um, I'm glad Jennifer Lawrence won, I'm glad um, Amy Adams won, I'm glad Spike Jones won, I'm glad uh, Brian Cranston won, Frozen, Alfonso Cuaron, um... Uh, I, don't know. I guess I should watch Dallas Buyers Club now. It's just been off my radar because I can't really find. Well, I think there's one theater I know where to find it. Uh, that's all I have to say for now. So, um, I'll see you for the next major award show, which might be the SAG Awards, the Screen Actors Guild Awards, which will be cool to watch because they're just acting awards. So, until then, see you later.